Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you some of my summer essentials. So I have done a blog post on this already, so I will link that below if you want more information. I will be splitting this video series into two parts. The first part, I'm going to talk about some skincare stuff, um, sunscreens, some face stuff like bases, and also some hair stuff. And then in part two, which I will have up in a couple of days, I am going to be talking about the details like lip colors and cheek colors and eye stuff. So basically, I'm going to share with you guys some things that I especially love and reach for in the summertime. Some of these products, I probably tend to reach for all year round to be honest, um, but these are just the products that when I think of summer, I immediately gravitate to these things. So let's start with the skincare stuff. In the summer, I typically have more oily skin than normal. My skin is basically normal combination. In the summer, it becomes a little bit more combination oily just because it's the summer. I get I perspire quite a bit in the summer and I just feel like my oil glands are in overdrive during the summer, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. So in the summer, I really like to focus on kind of oil control products in terms of skincare. So the first two things that I want to share with you guys are from Bioderma. These have been quite a bit of a lifesaver for me during the summer times over the past couple of years. Maybe the past year, because I think I only discovered this one um, last summer. This is the Sabium line from Bioderma, and this line just works really well for me. Um, this one is the Sabium AKN. So this one is for um, purifying correcting care. So this is for if you have very blemish prone skin. It's kind of like a serum and it's just supposed to help clear up your skin. But I find that it does also have some oil control properties to it. This one is my all-time favorite. This is the Sabium Pore Refiner. This is a pore refiner basically, um, but it also, because it helps tighten your pores, it really helps kind of mattify my face and helps prevent oiliness from kind of breaking through throughout the day. It's a really great primer to use under makeup, so I really, really love this. Also, my skincare routine cannot be complete without an exfoliator. This is just my favorite one at the moment. It's the Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. Exfoliators are just great throughout the entire year. I mean, in the summertime, it really helps kind of get that radiant glow. In the wintertime, it really helps buff off like any dry skin cells that you may have to keep your skin from looking kind of ashy when it's like cold and dreary out. So this is just my all-time favorite exfoliator at the moment. My skin is a little bit of an enigma. Throughout the day, it can feel very oily, but at night, especially if I've been out in the sun for long periods of time or even for like an hour or so, my skin can get very dry. It can feel very tight. So I really, really love the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. This is so moisturizing and hydrating on my skin. It just feels really great. Um, it does kind of have a tightening effect to it, but it doesn't tighten to the point where it dries out your skin. I just feel like it really hydrates my skin. So I love using this at night or even in the morning after my skin feels a little bit dry from the sun. The next two things are thermal water sprays. So these are basically mineral enriched waters, I think, that are in aerosol cans. Um, this one is from Evian and this one is from Vichy. I love them both. My all time favorite would have to be the one from Aven, but I just ran out of that one, so I have to repurchase it. Um, but I have these two and they're in travel sizes because I like to keep one in my bag at all times. Now this is a product that would definitely work well all year round, especially in the winter when your skin can feel dry just from like the harsh weather, or even if you work in an office where there's air conditioning, your skin can get a little bit dry then too. Um, but this is also great in the summer because not only is it refreshing, like if it's a really hot day and you just feel like your skin's on fire, you can just spritz this all over your face. But it's also good if you your skin is feeling a little bit dry in the summer because, I mean, the sun is very harsh these days. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the sun gets harsher and harsher every single year. Probably because of that whole ozone layer thing, but this is also really great if you just need a really nice cooling, refreshing mist. 
Okay, moving on to some face stuff. So for bases, I like to keep it very simple and minimal. Like in the summer, you don't wanna to layer too many things on because especially once it gets humid, all of that can just kind of start drooping off of your face. So it's really important to have a really nice primer down, but if you can get away with it, just use one or two products on your face, like as a base. So my favorite thing to use all year round basically, but especially in the summer, is tinted moisturizer. It just feels very lightweight on my skin and I like the minimal coverage that it offers. I mean, I never really go for anything with too much of a full coverage just because I don't really feel comfortable wearing that much um, makeup on my skin. Um, I don't know why, plus I just don't find that it looks right on me for some reason. I mean, sometimes I do wear something with a little bit more full coverage, but that's usually at nights if I know I'm going to get photographed a lot, so I want like a really flawless finish on my skin. Um, but just for day to day, I really prefer a tinted moisturizer. This one is from Chantecai. This is the Just Skin, and I am in the shade Wheat, which I think is the darkest shade. I mean, the shade range doesn't really very too much. I mean, there's only, I think, like six or seven colors in the whole range, and their just skin line does not go very, very dark, um, which is unfortunate, but um, I really like this. I know I said I wouldn't repurchase this, but I actually did end up repurchasing it because my skin just seems to really like it, and even though I think there are very comparable and on par tinted moisturizers to this, because this is hella expensive for what it is, but I just, I missed having it when I ran out of it, so I just went and picked up a new one. Concealer is also a nice thing to have. I really like lightweight concealers. This one is a new one from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Eye Rehab 2-in-1. So this is like an eye brightening cream and a hydrating serum in one. That's why there's like little swirls in it. So I really like this because it's quite moisturizing under the eye. It's a very light coverage under eye concealer. I wouldn't even call it really concealer. It's more of like an under eye brightener, but I really like that because like I said, I don't really like to go for anything full coverage. And I do have dark under eye circles, so it's not like I prefer eye brightening creams because I don't have dark circles. I do have dark circles, but I still prefer really light concealers, eye brighteners, because for me it feels a lot more comfortable under the eye and I don't have to worry about too many touch-ups throughout the day. So this is a really nice one. So for the days where I don't want to wear kind of a liquid or a cream on my face, but I still want a little bit more coverage, I go for the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Mineral Makeup. So this is basically a foundation, concealer, powder, pressed powder, and SPF in one because it does have an SPF of 15 in it. And this is the old packaging. The new packaging is so much cooler than this. It has like a really nice top on it, but I did notice that when I was swatching them that for some reason I found that the colors and the powder texture just felt a little bit different. I don't know if that's maybe just the testers because obviously they've been used quite a bit, um, but I just found that the texture of the powder and I found that it was a little bit more shimmery than the original packaging was. But this is just a really great powder foundation. Um, it really helps mattify my skin. So on the days where it's really, really hot and humid and I don't want to put on a tinted moisturizer because I know it's just gonna like slide off my face, I go for this if I want a little bit more coverage or if I even want just a light coverage, this works really well too because it's very buildable. And it's also really important to set your makeup. So this is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This will just help your makeup last much longer and will just kind of set your makeup so it doesn't move throughout the day, which is awesome, especially in the hot, humid weather. Moving on to some hair stuff. I would not be able to survive the summer without a little bit of dry shampoo. This one is the Principessa Beauty um, Dry Shampoo for darker shades. I like this because the powder is in like kind of like a brown shade so I find that it blends a lot better with my hair and it doesn't leave like a weird white cast on my dark hair. Next is the Fito 9. So this is for really dry hair or ultra dry hair. It's like a really nourishing hair cream and I really love this because if you're out in the sun a lot or if you're in the in and out of the pool where you're, you're in a chlorine pool, um, it can be very drying to your hair. So I like to have like a really nourishing hair cream on me just to really put back the hydration in my hair. The last thing for hair is this Fakai Tousled Wave Spray. And I really like this, but it's not my favorite. 
Secret Beachy Wave Spray. Um, I think it works okay, it's not the best, but I just like how it kind of texturizes my hair a little bit. I don't really use this as much now that my hair is shorter. When I did have long hair, this was really nice because it really helped kind of create that like crunchy beachy wave look in my hair. Now that my hair is a little bit shorter, I mean there's only so much wave I can get out of it, um, but I still like to use this if I want more of a texturized look to my shorter hair. Like I said, this isn't my favorite, but I do really like it. Moving on to some sunscreen. Sunscreen is like the most important part of summer essentials. Probably what I should have started off with, but here we go, I'm going to mention it now. I have so many, so many sunscreen favorites and I will link um, a blog post that I did a few weeks ago to some of the ones that I have on rotation. Now I have picked up quite a few new sunscreens for the summer, so I'm thinking of doing a new blog post just talking about some of the new ones that I've tried out. But for this video, I just have a couple of SPFs that I wanted to share with you guys. For the body, I really like to use the Banana Boat Ultra Defense Sunscreen Lotion. This is SPF. 60. Um, I don't really tend to go any higher than SPF 60 and any lower than SPF 35. Um, just because 35 I feel like is the minimum protection that I need and anything above 60 really there's not really that much of a difference that it makes in terms of protecting yourself from the UVA UVB rays. Anyway so I really like this because it feels like a body lotion again. I love two-in-one products um, so it's really moisturizing on the skin and it's also protecting me from sun rays. So I really like this. It has an okay scent to it. I, I mean it still smells like sunscreen but um, it's not as bad as other other products out there. And also I really like that this doesn't leave like a weird residue on the skin. It just kind of feels like lotion. So it absorbs really nicely and it doesn't like leave your skin feeling really sticky. For the face, I have been really loving this Tizo 3. This is the Facial Mineral Fusion Sunscreen. It's very water resistant apparently and it's SPF 40. I really like this because it's tinted and not a lot of sunscreens out there for the face are tinted. Um, typically you would have to like either mix a sunscreen and like a tinted moisturizer together or a tinted moisturizer has the SPF built in, but I've never really seen a lot of sunscreen products with the tint built in um, until recently. I I know La Roche-Posay has one, but I'm not sure if it's available in Canada yet. I haven't seen them in my local Shoppers Drug Marts. But anyway, like I said, I really like this one because it's tinted. Also, I really like the texture of this. It's quite a bit different from other face sunscreens that I've used. It's not watery like some um, sunscreens are, and it's also not like a cream. It feels more of like a silicone primer. If you've ever tried, let's say, Smashbox um, Photo Ready, no, it's not called Photo Ready. Photo, photo Finish Primers. This actually feels very, very similar to that. It has that really kind of soft, silicone, silky feeling to it, um, which I happen to like. So I've been really loving this. And this is not available at like your regular drugstore. I got mine from my dermatologist. Lastly, I wanted to talk about deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant. This is the Kiehl's Superbly Efficient Antiperspirant and Deodorant Cream. So this is a cream. I definitely prefer creams over sprays and over, um, what else is there? Solids. I prefer them over sprays and solids just because, I don't know, I just, I like the feel of them better and I feel like this works the best on me. I will say though that I'm not a huge perspirer? Is that a word? I'm not even sure, but I don't perspire a lot. I mean, in the summer, I do perspire, but it's not to the point where I like walk around with like really heavy BO. At least I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if people can actually smell their BO, but if other people could smell my BO, they haven't mentioned it to me. Um, actually, my mom probably would mention it to me if I did smell like BO, because that's just the kind of person my mom is. Um, anyway, so this works really well for me, but if you do have a really big problem with perspiration and you perspire a lot, this might not be something for you. You might need something a little bit stronger, but just in general, if you are a normal perspirer. This works really well. Oh, and I also wanted to say that this does not leave any kind of weird residue on your clothing. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, especially if I'm at a clothing store and I want to try something on or I see like a really cute top and I just see like deodorant streaks all over it. Like that freaking grosses me out and I'm sure it grosses a lot of you out too. So this does not leave any residue. 
Okay, so that was part one. Holy, this was a long video. Um, I will be doing part two right after this and I will have it uploaded in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a great start to the summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!